Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you the demo of our newly launched product order management system in Microsoft Excel. After downloading this from our website, first you need to unzip this folder. Just right click and click on extract all. Extract. So we have extracted file here. First you need to unblock this file. Just right click and go to the properties and check this unblock apply and ok. Now this file is ready to use just double click to open this. Ok so as this file is opened automatically this login form will appear and here you can provide the user id and the password. The default user id is admin1 and the password is abcd in small case. Now just hit the enter or click on login button. This is the landing page or the main page. On the top left corner, we have minimize and maximize button. So you can just click to minimize. Then again, click to maximize. We have this navigation pane on the left hand side. And here we have given the multiple buttons. The first one is the user management. So you can click on the user management button to open the user management form. From here, you can manage the user. You can add the new user, let's say, I'm putting here PK, password I'm putting ABCD and the role I'm putting here let's say user and submit so that user is appearing here. You can delete any existing user just select and click on delete button that user will be deleted. Okay. Then the next button we have the product master. So first thing you have to create the product master. We have given some default products just click on the product master. Here we have given some products but you can simply select them and delete from here and then you can add your new products. So to add the product you can simply type here the product name let's say I am putting here test the price let's say I am putting 100 MRP I am putting 200 the minimum stock so how many minimum should be in the store you can put let's say 100 and estimated delivery days. So how long will you take once the order is placed? So you can put here zero if you are delivering on the same days or you can provide on the same day or for one day you can provide one, two. So in the number you can provide here the input. And if you want to give some remarks, you can put that. So just click on submit. Then we can see that test is available here as a product. Okay. Now you can simply select and click on delete to delete that. So that is deleted. If you want to edit the information for any of the product, just click and just click on update existing record. So that information will be pre-filled and you can change the information as you want. And then submit. Let's close this. Now the purchase. So first thing you have to purchase to if you want to manage the inventory also, you have to purchase and give the purchase entry. We have given some default entries. You can provide here the purchase date or you can change this date using this calendar and then the product name you can select the product name this is coming from the product master just click and if that product is not visible here you can click on the search product and from here you can just type whatever you want let's say I am putting here search so we can see and just double click that product will be filled automatically. The purchase price you can input here the purchase price then the quantity how many you have purchased and you can submit that. So like product master that will appear here. Then we have the manage list so in this you can manage the list of the payment modes as well as the order status we have given default pending in progress and completed and this is the payment mode you can update more payments mode also. To add the new like I want to put here PayPal and add so that is appearing here okay let's close this now the reporting part and the other buttons will show you so this is the logout and the email us you will see our email id if you have any query you can just uh, email us and this will take you to our website so that you can see our other products like tools and the templates which are ready to use Okay, now the report will come later. Now let's come to this window. This is the main window and here we are showing all pending orders which has to be completed. We are showing the data for all period but if you uncheck this you can select from this date range whatever date range you want to select. 
okay you can use this calendar to change the start date and date it is showing only the pending orders if you uncheck then it will show all orders we have only two orders as of now but it will show all order if you want you can use the filter also let's say i want to search by the customer name or customer mobile number so i can put simply here p and just refresh so i'm seeing only pk or i can type the complete name also refresh i'm seeing only pk okay if i select here select and refresh then i'll see all using the sort by you can sort your data once we have here long list you can use the sort by order id and you can change let's say by order date you can sort by the order date or the address whatever you want okay then the next one is more important that is to add new order just click on this it will open completely new form wherein it will show the order id you can input the mobile number so let's say i'm putting here one two three four and after providing the mobile number just hit the enter if you hit the enter if that particular mobile number is already available in your database it will fetch the customer name and the address if that is not available like i'm putting here five then it will show the blank so let's say i'm putting here the name as raz and the address i can put here new address some new delhi okay now we have input this customer information now let's input the order information so i'm selecting the product from here this product click on add one more product you can change the quantity if you want you can make it two and add one more add so we can see our invoice value is getting changed if you want to delete any product simply select and delete that product will be removed and you can add more product okay if you want to change the quantity you can double click and you can just update the quantity click on update so that will be updated or you can simply click on this plus button so it will add the quantity you can see it is getting changed or from the minus button you can reduce the quantity as much as you want so if it is one and you click again that will be deleted okay now we have this submit button and we have this clear button and we have this export to excel button also now this is the item versus quantity we have two items and the quantity is three this is the invoice value now here you can input the payment information this is the gross amount you can see and if you are providing some discount you can put here some discount let's say i'm putting here 10 if you are taking any advance payment you can just input the advance payment so let's say i'm putting here 200 as advance payment you can see the remaining is now 335 just select the mode of the advance payment and automatically it will take the today's date however you can change it using this calendar now let's submit this and click on ok so that is done so this is the new order we just have given if i click here i can see the bling information of this customer customer name is raj total amount is 335 payment received is here and what is the balance you can see that now let's say i want to update this order again so i can simply double click or i can click on update existing the same form will be opened and whatever information we filled earlier that will be pre-filled or you can double click also the same information will appear here even the product which i have selected okay now i am saying okay this order is fulfilled now and this is showing the estimated fulfilled date on the basis of the product which we have selected you remember we have input the estimated delivery days in the product master accordingly it is calculating however you can change it as you want now i'm saying the order is uh, completed and the actual fulfillment date was uh, let's say i'm saying 23 and the final payment which was remaining is 335 let's put here 335 as you put 335 the remaining will be zero okay final payment mode i'm saying let's say cash and this will show the current date and i'm saying okay are completed okay as a remarks or whatever you can put just submit that okay that order is not appearing here just because we have applied this filter so only pending orders so if you uncheck you can see it is showing this order which is completed now okay 
you can see customer name total amount payment received balance amount is zero and order status is completed if you want to delete the existing order information the whole information you can simply select that record like this and click on this delete record first it will ask you want to delete this because you want to be retrieved that uh, particular record so you say yes so that record is deleted now okay if you want to send the whatsapp to the customer we because we are taking the customer mobile number we have given here sample number but you will take the actual number you can simply click on that whatsapp button and then it will open a new whatsapp window then it will open a new whatsapp window and you can just send the whatsapp to that particular customer because this number is incorrect so it will not show the information otherwise it will be working this is the export to excel button so whatever appearing in this particular window or in this list box that can be exported as an excel file click on ok so you can see the whole information is here now coming to the reporting part which we have left earlier now just click on report and you can export the report for orders inventory and purchase for order you can select the start date and date by default it is taking the 30 days and click on get report so it will fetch the information for of the orders and you can see whole information what is the remaining balance you can see that here and what is the payment you have received everything will be there then let me show you the other also that is purchase so click get reports so whatever you have purchased that report will appear here okay just close this one also the last one is the inventory if you want to manage the inventory also so just select the inventory click on cat report it will show you the current inventory label because we have put the minimum stock label also so it is saying this this is the available stock this is the minimum stock label so this has to be ordered because available is 55 and minimum is 85 if it is out of stock then it will show the out of stock also if the available stock is zero all right friends so you can see in this report so friends this is the order management system in microsoft excel using the bba you can use this in the various type of business if you are some kind of if you have some bakery business or if you have some other type of business wherein you are taking the orders and you are delivering on the same day or after few days then you can use this Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.